as a little girl as I grew up, along the road you could see zebras, you could see buffaloes. But I worry if the future generation, if they will still have this or will they have to see these animals only when they are caged. At Kenya Airways, we have long supported wildlife conservation issues to promote better protection of endangered wildlife and to reduce the demand for illegal wildlife products. The issue of illegal wildlife trade can be complex to our passengers and many of them feel powerless. We have broken this barrier by working with our partners such as Kenya Airport Authority. We have been collaborating with our stakeholders at the airport in ensuring there is a harmonized screening procedure. Our staff are our foot soldiers, so we are giving them awareness training on what is illegal wildlife trafficking and what are the key items that they should actually be looking out for. When a detection of a bug has been made, the Kenya Wildlife Service will be able to confirm if indeed it's a, it's a trophy or not. Thereafter, the case is handed over to the police for prosecution purposes. The incidents that we used to have before some of the efforts that are in place right now were quite uh, many. But since this multi-agency approach has been implemented, we have had a reduction of the incidents. 2016, we had wildlife-related cases constituting 4% of the total number of cases filed. And then 2017, we had 2.3%. 2018, we had 2.6%. 2019, we had 3.4%. Of all the cases with a conviction as an outcome, no conviction has been overturned. There is nothing as beautiful as just learning in JKIA and you see the giraffes walking by. So if we create a love of wildlife within the Kenyan public, it's a way of actually getting more champions who can then aid us in stopping this illegal wildlife trafficking.